The signing of this document by Boer Group and Oxon's Group of France recently signified an earlier commitment in September 2020 to build an integrated refining and petrochemical plant in Nigeria. With the latest agreement, the Boer Group is poised to be a major player in Nigeria's petrochemical refining industry. Nigeria is preparing to take another bold and decisive step toward true energy independence. Spearheaded by Nigerian billionaire entrepreneur Ahaji Abdul Samad Ishiku Rabiu, founder of the Bua Group, the company is constructing a second major private refinery in the country, a massive 200,000 barrels per day facility in Aqua Ibom State. Once fully operational, the refinery will transform Nigeria's downstream fuel industry, cut dependence on imported refined products, create thousands of jobs in the eastern region, and boost industrial growth across the country. In this video, we will explore the scope of the project, how it competes with the giant Dangote refinery, the specific economic implications for Nigeria's eastern region, the projected completion timeline, and what this means for Nigeria's energy future going forward. Kindly like and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the latest progress and developments across Nigeria and Africa. The Scope and Ambition of the Bua Refinery Project The Bua Refinery in Aqua Ibom is designed to process up to 200,000 barrels of crude per day, making it one of the largest privately owned refining complexes in West Africa. The project includes not just refining capacity, but an integrated petrochemicals complex, incorporating units for gasoline, diesel, jet fuel of Euro-V specification, and propylene for propylene production. The facility is being developed in partnership with global engineering and technology providers. For example, in 2020, the Bua Group signed an agreement with French-based Accents to supply process technologies for the refined fuels and petrochemicals plant. The aim is to produce high-quality fuel and chemicals that meet global standards while also serving Nigeria's domestic market and exporting surplus into the region. So we are really very pleased, you know, that we have actually uh, chosen Accents. You know, it's uh, one of the best companies, as we all know. It's a European company, it's a French company, and they've been doing this for many, many, many years. So we signed that agreement, you know, for the design and, you know, uh, technology, you know, last year. So we are making very, very good progress, you know, and Accents, KBR, and ourselves have been working together for some time. And this is what we signed today. As I said, you know, it's a project in okay, Al we've announced it, and uh, we are breaking ground hopefully, you know, uh, later this year. Bua has emphasized that the project is part of its broader strategy of value chain integration. Rather than simply importing crude or refined fuels, the company intends to refine domestically, thereby retaining more value within Nigeria. This step is crucial in a country that has long exported crude and re-imported refined products, losing out on refining margins, foreign currency, and jobs. The Aqua Ibon facility is a critical piece of that transformation. In its communications, Bua clarified that although construction is progressing rapidly, the refinery is not yet at 90% completion as some media had suggested. Nevertheless, management reiterated that the project remains on track to meet our delivery timelines and emphasized its role as a major milestone in strengthening Nigeria's refining capacity and energy security. Competition with the Dangote Refinery The Bua Refinery is not just another facility, it is entering an industry already being transformed by the Dangote Refinery, built by Nigeria's wealthiest man, Aliko Dangote. The Dangote Refinery, with a capacity of around 650,000 barrels per day, is the largest single-train refinery in the world and represents a seismic shift for Nigeria's downstream sector. This gives the country its first truly large-scale refining hub, capable of supplying domestic fuel demand and exporting refined products. In that context, Bua's 200,000 BPD facility is smaller, but highly strategic. It represents competition, diversification, and regional spreading of refining capacity. Key aspects of the competitive dynamic include capacity and scale. Dangote's 650,000 barrels per day facility is significantly larger in scale, giving it enormous economies of scale, export potential, and operational flexibility. Bua's 200,000 BPD capacity is smaller, but still very significant, especially if aligned with petrochemicals and export markets. Geographic spread and region 
While Dangote is based in Lagos Leki Free Trade Zone, Bua's facility is sited in Aqua Ibum in the south-south region of Nigeria. This geographic spread means that refining capacity is not concentrated in one region, but is expanding into the eastern maritime region and nearer to some crude feed points and export routes. This offers potential benefits for regional development and logistics. Value Chain Focus Bua emphasizes its integrated petrochemicals arm, propylene propylene, in addition to fuel refining. This differentiation gives it a niche beyond purely fuel products. Dangote's complex also includes petrochemicals, but the existence of a second major player increases competition, potentially drives down costs, and strengthens Nigeria's overall refining ecosystem. Crude Supply and Logistics Dangote has publicly flagged that one of its challenges is securing adequate domestic crude supply due to upstream production constraints, vandalism, and regulatory bottlenecks. The presence of another large private facility increases the demand for domestic crude and may pressure upstream reforms and policy enforcement, such as domestic crude supply obligation. BUA, by expanding refining capacity, will similarly increase demand for crude, incentivizing upstream investment. In short, BUA's refinery project complements but also competes with Dangote's. The result should be positive for Nigeria. Healthier downstream competition, increased refining capacity, and more options for domestic supply and export markets. Economic Effects on the Eastern Region of Nigeria Boa Group's chairman also noted the positives of citing the company's petrochemical complex in Aqua Ibom State. Well, the choice of Aqua Ibom is easy because, you know, we, have, we decided on Aqua Ibom because of the feedstock. Because if you have your project, you know, next to your feedstock, it is much easier, meaning that you do not have to transport, you know, your raw material or your feedstock to the project. So we decided Aqua Iban because, you know, um, it is much easier for us. The feedstock is there, and then also it is uh, a location where we'll have a big jetty, meaning that you can bring in products and you can also export products, you know, from that location. And your feedstock is just next door. So we decided on that, and the quality of the crude there is also one of the best, you know, hence the reason why we felt it was, you know, easier for us to actually put that, you know, project in Aqua Ibom so that if we are using the feedstock, it's there. If we decide now to export, you know, we can also use the JT. And if we decide for whatever reason that we have to bring in crude, we also can bring in the crude, you know, to the JT. So in, 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 a, in that case, you really do not have to build a lot of storage, you know, because, you know, you have your feedstock next so otherwise you would have had to build maybe like huge storage facilities for you to be able to bring it in projects if your feedstock is not, is not next to the project. Siting the refinery in Aqua Ibum State has profound implications for the eastern and south-south region of Nigeria. Historically, much of Nigeria's oil refining and downstream infrastructure has been concentrated in the southwest, Lagos, or in public or state-owned refineries in the Niger Delta region. By locating a major private refinery in Aqua Ibum, Bua is driving regional industrial growth, job creation, and macroeconomic spillover benefits. Key regional effects include job creation and skills development. Construction of the refinery alone requires thousands of workers, engineers, technicians, skilled artisans, tradespersons, logistics staff, administration, and support. The regional workforce will benefit from training and capacity building, helping to deepen the local industrial skills base. Industrial cluster development. A refinery of this size attracts ancillary and downstream industries, chemical plants using the propylene output, packaging and plastics manufacturing, fertilizer and agrochemical production, even logistics and maritime services. Aqua Ibum and the broader South-South Corridor may evolve into an industrial hub with improved infrastructure, new business parks, warehouses and service firms. Infrastructure and logistics boost. The refinery needs and creates infrastructure, roads, pipelines, storage tanks, power plants, export jetties and marine access and port links. Infrastructure spending thereby benefits the region. Better transport links, reliable electricity, new pipelines, and possibly new export terminals. The multiplier effect is significant for local communities and businesses. Foreign exchange and trade, with increased refining capacity, the region will contribute more significantly to Nigeria's export base, 
The refinery can bring in foreign currency through exports of refined fuels and petrochemicals, which helps strengthen the Naira and reduce vulnerability to global oil price swings. For the South-South region, this means local wealth generation and reinvestment in growth. Reduced import dependence. Nigeria historically imports large volumes of refined fuels. A local refinery of 200,000 BPD capacity can reduce the need to import in the region, lowering costs, reducing disruption from imports, and improving supply security. In the eastern region, companies and households will benefit from more reliable fuel supply, fewer price bikes, and logistics improvements. Projected completion date and what it means for Nigeria going forward. While specific public dates have sometimes been optimistic, the current public information indicates the following. The BUA Group announced that the 200,000 BPD refinery will be delivered on schedule, though it clarified that it is not yet at 90% completion as of early 2025. Some industry commentary suggests that the project was targeted for commissioning in 2025 or shortly thereafter. The engineering agreement signed in 2020 projected earlier commissioning, but like many mega-projects, timelines have slipped. The company continues to emphasize that it remains on track to meet our delivery timelines in collaboration with our partners. Once operational, the refinery will change Nigeria's energy landscape. The major implications include accelerated energy independence. With two large private refineries, the Dangote and the BUA facilities, Nigeria moves much closer to self-reliance in refined fuel production. It will reduce foreign exchange drain from importing fuels, stabilize supply, and support macroeconomic resilience. Export Capability the BUA refinery's integrated petrochemicals arm positions Nigeria to not just supply domestic markets, but to export refined fuels and chemicals to West Africa and beyond. This creates new revenue streams, strengthens Nigeria's trade position, and enhances geopolitics of energy in the region. Industrial Growth Catalyst The refinery acts as an anchor for further industrialization. Nigeria gains a deeper refining ecosystem, upstream, midstream, downstream linkage, and enhanced value capture locally. Manufacturing, plastics, chemical sectors all stand to benefit. Job creation and skill retention. Thousands of jobs in construction and operations will be created. More importantly, Nigeria's energy workforce will be expanded less talent migration, more local retention of skills. Regional Balance The eastern and south-south region benefits significantly, reducing concentration of industrial capacity in the southwest and promoting more balanced national development. Stronger Logistics and Supply Chains To feed the refinery, crude logistics, pipeline networks and export terminals will get upgraded. This improved infrastructure fosters growth in other sectors, shipping, storage, transport, services. Downstream competition and price discipline. With two major refineries, Nigeria's downstream fuel market may become more competitive. Over time, this could help reduce consumer fuel costs and increase reliability. Consumers and industrial users may benefit from improved supply chain efficiency. Environmental Standards and Modernization The BUA refinery's emphasis on Euro 5 fuels and advanced technology suggests Nigeria's refining sector is upgrading its environmental performance. Safer refining operations, cleaner fuels, and better process safety will raise Nigeria's refining standard. Challenges and Considerations Ahead while the opportunities are enormous, several challenges must be addressed. Crude Supply Security As seen with the Dungote refinery, securing consistent, cost-effective crude feedstock is vital. Nigeria must strengthen upstream production, reduce oil theft, and enforce domestic crude supply obligations. Infrastructure Linkages the refinery must be supported by pipelines, storage, 
export jetties, and ports. Without adequate logistics, its full potential may not be realized. Regulatory and policy certainty. Clarity on taxes, export regimes, local content, and environmental regulation will be essential to ensure profitability and timely commissioning. Community engagement and environmental safeguards. As with any large industrial project, ensuring communities are consulted, local employment maximized, and environmental impact mitigated will be critical to sustainable operations. Project financing and currency risk. Mega projects require billions of dollars in investment. Currency volatility, inflation, and global interest rates impact financing cost and project viability. Nevertheless, if these risks are managed, the BUA refinery and petrochemicals complex could mark a historic turning point for Nigeria. The BUA Group's 200,000 BPD refinery in Akwa Ibom State is one of the most significant industrial undertakings in Nigeria's recent history. Under the leadership of Alhaji Abdul Samad Isiaku Rabiu, this project brings competition to the refining sector, complements the Dangote facility, and spreads industrial capacity into the eastern part of the country. For Nigeria, the refinery promises to reduce fuel imports, increase exports, generate jobs, upgrade skills, diversify the economy, boost regional development, and strengthen energy security. For Aqua Ibom and the South-South region, it offers industrialization, infrastructure growth, and economic inclusion. As Nigeria stands on the cusp of an energy and industrial revolution, this project signals that Nigeria is not just consuming raw materials, it is building the capacity to refine them, market them, export them, and drive its own growth. If all goes to plan, by the time the refinery is commissioned, Nigeria will move closer to the dream of self-reliance in energy, value addition, and meaningful participation in global hydrocarbons and petrochemicals trade. In short, this is not just another industrial plant, it is a statement that Nigeria's time as an importer of refined fuel may finally be coming to an end, and its era as a producer, exporter, and industrial powerhouse is beginning.